Hello everyone, this is Sheba. Um, today I want to talk about lying or telling lies. And uh, why is it so important as much as, you know, in today's world, most, I think, 95% or maybe even 98% or I don't know, I can't say, but the census is really high. People kind of tell lies all the time. You know, they lie about everything in today's world. But for believers, for Christians, lying is an abomination unto God. Now, why is lying an abomination unto God? Because it clearly says in the Bible that God detests people who are who lie. Okay. Now, what what is an abomination? I have seen in the dictionary what an abomination is. And it says that abomination is something which is, uh, it's, it is very disgusting, it is loathing, and it is an atrocity. And also it means that abomination is something that God detests, that is something that God uh, doesn't like something that God like just uh, I believe he turns his head away I mean just imagine you know if our parents are uh, people that you know we love and then we are very free we live with them and all that and suddenly we tell lies to them and they hate hate such lies they don't hate us but they hate such lies so they kind of like turn away I, I mean and they, they think you know what kind of girl or boy this person is because I brought them in the very best way and here they are lying for every little thing telling lies on every little thing and they kind of like develop a kind of uh, um uh not hatred but a dislike towards a child and they feel very sad about that so it's the same thing with god you know because god is also a relationship god we all have formed relationships because we know that god is a relational god he has taught us how to be how to have relationships with one another because the cross itself says that we are that there's a message the message of the cross is you know it is vertical that means we are connected to god and the horizontal is we're connected to everybody which means we are a relationship people so here uh, it's an bomb it's a detestable thing god doesn't like people to tell lies god doesn't like you know especially christians who know his word uh, that they should not tell lies and in the bible Actually, the word abomination occurs 21 times, you know, and uh, and, uh, and in Hebrew, um, there's also, uh, actually, it, the, the, it occurs three times in the New Testament, and it came from the Hebrew word, which means sheket, or, um, or it also mean, it means sheket, means, uh, it's a detestable thing. Lying is a detestable thing. It's an idle. It's an unclean thing. So, it is an abominable detestation to God. It is a. It's a. It's a very. Uh, it's a very serious thing. You know, he doesn't say anything. I mean, he doesn't call other sins as a detestable thing, but he calls lying as a detestable thing. So. And people might say, oh, what is there, you know, Christians would say, what is there if we lie for a small thing or this and that. But, you know, and then the punishments are all in the Old Testament. God is a merciful God, is a gracious God, is a God who forgives. All that is fine. But here we will see a story where God really punishes the couple who tells lies in the sight of God. Okay, so it is in Acts and you can say, you know, all these uh, punishable things are recorded in the Old Testament, but that's not the case. We see it in Acts, which is in New Testament, how God punishes when one, when a couple lies to God, okay, about a piece of land that they owned. In uh, Acts 5, from verses 1 to um, 11, Okay, I'm not going to read the entire uh, 
uh, reading of the Bible, but you can look it up later. It's Acts 5, 1 to 11. So there, were, there was a couple and their name was, uh, his name was uh, Ananias and the wife's name was Sapphira. What happened, I'll tell you a short, I'll tell you a story in my own words. What will happen is they sell the land, a piece of land that they had, and um, uh, they keep part of the money. Okay, I mean, what they thought in their heart that they wanted to give for the Lord, they don't do that. They don't, they disobey that. So what they do is they keep part of the land, they keep part of the money. And Ananias goes into the temple and Peter, and he meets Peter. Peter asks him, Ananias, it's in verse 3. How is it that Satan also so filled your heart with that, that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and kept yourself some of the money you received for the land. Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after that it was also sold. Wasn't it, uh, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied to just to human beings, but to God. So it's a very serious thing, folks. When a Christian when a god you know he takes that land is his he he sold the land he wanted to give some of the money to the uh, to the temple but when he goes and con uh, sees peter he tells lies that he says all that money that he got he's giving it to the glory of god i mean he's giving it into the church now peter being a man filled with the holy spirit immediately he recognizes the lies that ananya Ananias has said. So Peter says, why are you lying? It's your land. Whatever you wanted to give, you should have given. But what do you think? Are you lying? Do you think you're, you're lying and your lying can be kept away from God? No, that's not the thing. You're not lying to, he says in verse, um, uh, where is it? it uh, in, in verse um, uh, five, 4, it says, What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied to the human beings, but to God. So there is a big difference, folks. When people lie, when people tell lies to God before God, you know, he takes it very seriously. Don't ever think that Christians can get away with that kind of thing. But clearly, what God says and speaks, he will do it. What God wants us to do, he will do it. So, um, and what God thinks, that we should do he is going to do it so here when they uh, uh, as soon as he lies to God what happens to Ananias is he falls dead on the ground immediately immediately only because he lied to the Holy Spirit he lied to God he lied to Jesus all the three are one and the same and then his wife walks in after three hours. And Peter has the same thing. And he says uh, in verse 8, Tell me, is this your prize? She says, yes. That is the prize. And Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the spirit of the Lord? So, and then he says, The feet of the Lord who buried your husband at the door, they will husband are at the door and they will carry you out also how bad how gravesome how i mean how uh, uh, scary this is you know safira who is ananias wife she comes after three hours and she stands before peter and peter says is this all the money you got for the land and then she says yes and then immediately Peter says, or oh, all right, that's fine. But the persons who have carried your husband's dead body are waiting for you at the door. As soon as Peter finishes saying that, she falls dead and then they take her out too. So what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, as Christians, no one should take for granted about lying actually as far as as far as uh, um, they can control you know their emotions and then they can pray about this weakness god will judge them so it's very important for a christian not to tell lies because it is an abomination it is a detestable thing it is a thing that is not right in the sight of god it is a thing that god hates and it is a thing that god actually turns his head away
and when you know when we are in favor with god god looks at us and he performs signs and miracles signs and wonders you know whatever we ask that means we receive a blessing from god but when we lie you know when people who are called christians lie to god lie to people it's not forgotten it's not forgiven by god because he himself you know what he said he will perform it says so even in the bible when jacob lied uh, to um about uh, uh, the to um, uh, yeah, jacob lied to his father you know esau about you know being a hairy man and he's the one who got the meat and then that he saw uh, that uh, sorry that isaac should bless him what happened jacob had to go through so much of turmoil not just because he took i think he took the birthright but also because he lied he deceived his father and usually you know our fathers our mothers are next to uh, are are a person our people responsible for our lives are given as a voice of instruction from god to our lives so we have to be very careful when christians you know want to lie to each other or even and, and that gets recorded because god is always listening he is not deaf Uh, i mean he is not uh, uh, yeah he is not deaf so he is not like sitting there and saying okay maybe they lied to their parents once that's okay maybe they lied to their friends once that's okay maybe they lied to their neighbors that's okay they may maybe they lied to their sibling that no he doesn't take that he says every time a person tells lies it's recorded in their name in the book of life so they, it's it's recorded there how many times people lie how many times especially christians you know when they know the word of god it's important for them to act on the word of god not just waver it see bible is been given as a instruction manual everything in the bible a person has to do it it's mandatory otherwise christians should not be called as christians and they no not even called as christians according to god so be very careful in in about telling lies you know yes some people you know i have seen in my walk of life that people just lie through the nose you know it's like drinking water for them it's like these lies for are like blood in their bodies so it's very scary you know it's very scary i mean who are you cheating who are who do you think you are um Uh, causing a problem for no one except you so you know it is very important that people don't lie and what happened to jacob jacob had to be a nomad he had to work for um two wives for 14 years in laban's field and another seven years and so he had to toil and struggle when actually he could have been a prince in that land in his father's land all because he lied all because he deceived see from lying comes many sins too a person can lie and then it can lead to lust it can lead to robbery it can lead to deceiving it can lead to murder it can lead to jealousy it can lead to many things so the main um bottom ingredient in the bible which is very essential for people to actually think about it is not to tell lies or not to lie because you know we are made in the image of god and god expects us to be in the higher calling in the calling that he has framed us so christians have to be very very careful about not lying not just jacob have we not seen uh, you know even um, abraham father of nations he lied to the king of salem when he takes um, uh sorry i think abimelech when he takes uh, sarah his wife into his you know into his place and then abraham says she's my sister but because abraham and then immediately god uh you know intervenes and he says you should repent you should not say that go tell him the truth and when abraham goes and and you know he tells the truth that she is not his wife i mean she is not his sister then you know things are set right so 
you know yes telling sometimes people may tell lies to save themselves but but you know they should make a rule they should make a um a strict warning to themselves that you know if god god is watching me god is like listening to me when i say this doesn't matter i might face lot of persecution i might face lot of trouble if i tell the truth but it's okay it's okay i will tell the truth why because where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom and liberty and when one person a person tells the truth there is a redemption there is favor from god there is help from god so it's very important not to tell lies it's very important not to deceive people and uh, only because you will be saving lot of trouble yourself it's not about others you know uh, others might hear your lies and believe and go away but that's not the end of it he in acts itself in new testament you know this ananias and sapphira story is in is found in acts 5 1 to 11 it's not even in old testament where we could say oh god punishes severely has or punished severely in the old testament no he punished in new testament about lying so he is the same god yesterday today and forever and whatever we do you know comes into his alignment so you might ask me oh you know yes it happened in new testament yes this punishment for lying how is it that today a uh, lot of people are lying and we are living in the new testament times so what is happening why is god not punishing jesus came into this world and he gave us his grace and mercy not to do those things right so now after knowing that still believers and christians if they if they tell lies it's not that they will be taken in a fraction of a second otherwise the whole world would be empty trust me folks the whole world would have like lied about something or the other and the whole world would have died in like large numbers each day but god in his mercy god in his grace is still teaching is still teaching to the world to the christians saying that do not lie i i will still hold accountable for that but i'm giving you the grace to know more each to know the truth each day and be and live in the truth each day so so it it's it's not that we that christians are going to just because it's in the new testament times or nothing is happening now even though people are like lying so much lying for property lying about siblings lying about you know defaming others lying about climbing ladders lying about you know everything that is not right in the eyes of god i mean lying about small sins lying about big sins and lying about everything even though if it's not a sin also they're lying so you know it is very dangerous uh, that people have that christians need to have a check on their lives about this on their mouths especially on their tongues and 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 know that lying is an abomination unto god so uh, it is a detestable thing yes jesus has come he has given us his grace and mercy but that doesn't mean that he's not going to punish the ones who's not who are going to be lying all the time or even lie once so or tell lies so here god you know um and even in the garden of eden what happened adam and eve they not only disobeyed by eating the fruit but they lied you know they told lies this if they could have said lord forgive us because we have seen the tree and the apples are so delicious that we wanted to eat god in his mercy would have saved them but you know they lied they said we didn't we didn't know that we shouldn't eat or i didn't know or the satan told like they you know lies bring one sin after the uh, another to accumulate in person's lives so that the person ultimately becomes very wicked and and very disobedient and very um insecure and then uh, he turns you know his life to satan he gives himself to satan and the works of satan and what happens from there the damnation happens from there the those people um become prone to going to hell than to heaven so lying is a bottom line sin maybe a very small sin for people but it is counted 
it has a price that you have to pay so be very careful and really today i you know as i was reading the story and then that too in acts i was like moved and shaken and i said i i have to talk about this and the holy spirit was nudging me inside you know to talk about this so thanks for giving me this time and uh, be blessed